Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement and create a new one. Use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 112, NASDAQ up 147, S&P's up 40. Gold, gold contract up $26.50, trading at 2,335 an ounce. Silver, up a buck, $27.71 an ounce. Light sweet crude, up 57 cents, $78.68 a barrel. Notes and bonds, 10-year note. Flat 108.28, the 30 year up eight ticks at 116.06 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading. Where'd you disappear on me? Mm -hmm. There we go. Up 34 ticks trading 105.064, Euro 107, Yen 153, British pound 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, let's, I'm going to put the SPY first. Then we'll get into the futures. So the dollar is giving the, the market a little relief out here today. Again, <laughs> uh, bottom line, though, inside this S SPY, now you have this contraction. This contraction is a big contraction on volume. What we have done, however, is that we got into the heavy bar. The heavy bar that I'm talking about is the bar from the fourth from the fourth of April. That's where, but that was one of the first places that we actually broke down off the high. So that number, the low of that number is 512. Well, we're at 515. That, what does that say? It says, hey, guess what? We're going to the highs once again, man. That's how this is set up. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX. Same type of setup. We'll go into the same bar. We'll take a look at this bar. It's doing the same thing. So the bottom of that bar is 435. You're at 439 on the Qs. That's saying the Qs are also going to go too. Contraction of volume is a big one today, though. There's no two ways about that. We go into the gold contract. We look at the, look at the gold contract. So the gold contract has good volume. I like what the gold contract is doing. I don't like what the equities are doing. So if we take a look at the gold contract, you have 26 bucks. You get 181,000 contracts. Good contract volume. That being said, it doesn't matter what gold or silver equity you go over to, and you're having a, quite a contraction out here in volume. If we do the GDX, you get 13 million, you know, bottom line. I suspect we're still going to go to the highs because that's a high volume high at 35.74. But this needs volume, man. That's the bottom line. You know, we, it's dangerous. Um, when I did the gold report today, you know, we're doing really well in the gold report. There's no two ways about that, but I'm a little bit nervous right now because the bottom line is that a lot of these equities, they went higher. It's a small bar out here today, and you get a contraction of volume happening. Now, that being said, here's the divergence. The divergence is that what we have going with us is that on Friday, bottom line, jobs number come out, light jobs number and you can see we take a look at the 10 first the 10 year you can see that big jump on volume we did 2.8 million contracts what it also did it also broke its downtrend so the bottom line that's saying that the 10 year now wants to run to 112.04 and right now you're at 108.27 and then if we go into the the good old dollar you're going to see the dollar broke it broke lower but it's not just yet inside this lower range it's teetering right on it you know we got we got three long bars one coming from the almost the highs so at 106490 uh but you can see this number is a big number 104976 we get inside that then it's going to be game you know right now this really hasn't broken down you know we we we, we broke good friday but it came right back and got on the other side, meaning the higher side 
of this dollar index. And, you know, I, guess what? You know, we have gone higher with the dollar going higher, too. But the uh, bottom line is that if that dollar backs off, you will see some real action inside of the S&Ps. Some of the higher volume, or oh, no, silver, let's go to silver, because silver, we got, got action in it too. Highly volatile, but if a dollar in silver is a big number. And what you have here is that you get volume behind the move too. 64,000 contracts in silver, you're up a buck, decent deal. Silver came back to its breakout area, did it with lighter volume. Yeah, decent setup, man. Decent setup. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today. You got uh, Plantier is up a buck seventy-eight. You got uh, Marathon Digital. That's uh, yeah, that's I believe that's in the the crypto space. That's up two ninety. You have uh, Nvidia is up thirty-two bucks. That's a move, that's for sure. Nvda, Nvda. Let's go take a look at Nvda. Yeah, and the volume's not bad. So that's going back to its highs. That's a high volume high that never got tested. That that high of uh, 974 never did get tested. And you can see that volume there, 114 million. Um, nice number. Now, this is going to get really interesting because NVIDIA also didn't fill its gap. It only did. This is how strong this equity is. If we take a look, I'll take it from the bottom. Probably did. Yeah, you did a 0.382. That's it. Just over a 0.382 on the way down. You didn't fill the gap. And bottom line is that it's uh, heading higher once again, man. So uh, Apple, we take a look at Apple. You had uh, Berkshire's, um, you know, big deal this weekend. Um, Berk, I mean, uh, Buffett was praising Apple as he's selling it. How's that? <laughs> uh, Apple, you know, bottom line, it got some juice on Friday. That being said, though, it didn't take out a swing point. It didn't take out the 191.05, and that's always dangerous, man. You got the 187. Now, I suspect Apple's going to fill this gap. So it's better that the gap gets filled sooner rather than later. There's no doubt about that. Dow. Dow Industrials right now is trading up uh, 88. Nasdaq's up 141. S&Ps are up 37. Stay right there. Come back when I'm Mr. Steve Rhodes.